The following is a presentation of RVO Fishing on RVO Sports Network. Hello everybody and welcome to RVO Fishing. On today's episode we're going to fish Bassmasters 2022 on this beautiful rendition of Lake Hamilton located in central Arkansas. Come join me in the boat today as we chase profit. That's right, hand fish today. America's favorite pastime fishing. We're going to be using small jigs, light line, and light tackle to catch these monster crops. Come join me next on RVO Fishing on RVO Sports Network. Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Good to see you, good to see you. Let me make sure I got audio. We got audio. Video played good. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm not going to flip the boat. You can't flip the boat. That's probably the only reason I had flipped it. Oh, my goodness. Good to see you. Andy Finn, good to see you. Eileen, good to see you. Let's start out the top here and work our way down. There's my good friend Chris Everett. Andy Finn is possible. Big Slim. There's my friend Art, Steve Ransom. Uh, Steve Locke. Hello, sir. Good to see you, sir. Uh, there's my buddy Don R. All right, I think I'm caught up. Well, I see Don R. That makes me think of yesterday. Uh, I turned on YouTube for a little while. Ruskett was up there doing a live. He had this pretty girl standing there on the thumbnail drinking a cup of coffee. I thought, well, I'm going to click on this. I may get to see this talk of this pretty girl. And I clicked on there, and it was Rustic and Don R. I said, well, that figures. I think I'm going to get to talk to a pretty girl, and it turns out to be two old men. All right. Hello, Buck Williams. Good to see you. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna fish for some crappies today. Let me get the game screen up here. Uh, or I can see what I'm doing. All right, we're in good shape. So <clears throat> I want to remind everybody, and again, I will mention this throughout. The stream as I see other folks come in. Hello, Chuck. Good to see you. Uh, tonight at 7, I'm going to be doing the Great One Hunt or the Multiplayer Hunt with Jebba. So I invite y'all to come over and watch. You know, Eastern Time and Central Time throws me off. Because I've lived in Central Time all my life. So I think 7 o'clock is 7 o'clock, right? So I, Jebba's on Eastern Time, and uh, he's 8 o'clock, and I'm 7 o'clock. So when he said 8 o'clock, I, I, I sent Lyle Stokes a message, hey, dog, I'm going to do this thing, you know, I know it's Panfish Nation slot, do you mind? Of course, Lyle graciously said, no, it's fine. Go ahead and do what you're going to do and have fun. Well, last night as I sat around looking at everything, getting everything set up, I realized, I said, well, you fool, that's 7 o'clock. That's Chad's slot <laughs> for the bait shop. So I had to message Chad yesterday, and of course, he was also very understanding and cool about it, so I appreciate Chad. Uh, both those guys are great guys. I better not miss. Well, I, I, I'm not really worried about missing. I'm worried about 
not getting the shot. Fortunately for me, uh, if we it's not there, we can always uh, go back to the spot by changing the time and set up again. But hopefully that it all works out. So so let me give you a little little quick preview and and. Uh, we're going to do a hunt first. We're going to do a little hunting first, and then we're going to do the, do the grand finale. So uh, let's get a 15-pounder. Well, I don't think I'll catch a 15-pound crappie, but we're going to try to catch a big one. All right, so we're going to be fishing on Lake Hamilton, and I have fished uh, this lake quite a bit mainly because I've been passing, I'm practicing for the Bass Masters. So. so I have found some very big crappie. A lot of little ones, too, but some very big ones. Now let me get in the boat here. We're going to get on down the road. Or get on down the water. Alvin Lewis! All right, we're going to ease over here at the first spot, and I'm going to show y'all what kind of lures we're going to be using and set up. First spot is not always far. So I got basically three spin cast rods with uh, three different lures. So all of them's got seven or eight pound line on them. So most of them, all of them's got eight pounds. You get. So we're gonna start out with this. Uh, this green uh, soft plastic called a tea fry daddy. And like I said, we're going to be keeping a lookout. We're not going to turn the underwater camera on. We're just going to play it, play it the old fashioned way today. So what we catch is going to be sort of a surprise. So, <clears throat> uh, I'll go ahead and announce this because it is set to do. I have not put the thumbnail up, but Saturday night, 8 Central, 9 Eastern, we are going to be doing a convoy on American Truck Simulator. And uh, right now it stands as uh, Stan, Susquehanna Stan, myself, and Hogley is going to be in it. And hopefully, not not quite confirmed for sure, but hopefully uh, Coach is going to join us, Steve Adams. So I asked Coach last night if he wanted to 
get in on it. So hopefully that we can get him, I can get him going on Saturday on what to do, and he's going to go to join the convoy on Saturday night. There'll be a thumbnail look for that. That was kind of put together yesterday at the last minute. Stan called me and asked me if I wanted to do it. I told him I would. And I emailed Melissa and asked Melissa if she wanted to, if Hogleg wanted to participate, and I got a yes. <coughs> Within seven minutes. <laughs> Didn't take her long to ask him if she thinks she gets a kick out of that John boy. And when I, I, I got on coaches last night when he was up on live for a little while asking me to join us. So hopefully he's going to join us. Oh, it'll be fun. Uh, no, I'm going to call it the Fabulous Four. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, you've been watching Brian be catfishing too much. He come in the other night, seen me and Coach on live, and said it looked like the senior home. And I, the senior hour, as he put it. We got a fishy. That's a white bass. We're going to catch a lot of those. I didn't want to get in any too intense game today because I got a stream to do tonight. So, the fabulous four. <laughs> Save up for those repairs. Now you gonna have to listen. Now we gonna we gonna run things a little differently tonight. You gonna coach if coach gets on there with us tonight. He don't drive all that fast, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang back with coach and hog leg so I can get the I have to, I have to have the camera on them. So you are gonna have to. You're either going to have to run off and leave us, or you're going to have to drive at our pace. Because we're going, we're going to stay tight together tonight, because I want everybody to be able to see Coach drive. So you just... It's going to be a... It's going to be a... It's not a crash-up derby tonight, Stan. Get your mind wrapped around it. <laughs> Where'd my crappies go? We'll find them. Oh, there's one. There's one. Is this a crappie? No, that ain't no crappie. If it is, it's big. Good. Tied I rain. Doggone striper. Well, there's some big stripers in this lake. I'm going to have to do a live on stripers. I caught a stripers. I caught 147 pounds the other day. No, the biggest one I've caught has been 52 pounds. So I did a live on this game the other night. Practicing for the Bass Masters. Some of you were here. Uh, then watching me practice. Yes. Uh, oh, gone striper. Can't catch no crappie with that joker hanging around.
And uh, let's turn this guy to water camera on a minute and see what's down here. So I, oh, well, I can't even get the camera on. That fish hit that as soon as it hit the water. This is a crappie. There's a crappie. Oh, Martin, how are you? That's what we're looking for. That's two pounds. Big one I've caught has been four, four, five, four, uh, four pounds, five ounces. That was, that was on the thumbnail for this live. Uh, so I did that live in practice for the Bass Masters Open Tournament. This is the next lake it's on. So for the ones that was here, I did find the fish. Uh, finally. About another five hours, I finally found them. So. Uh, running all over this guy. The dog is striped as it was. Running all over this lake, I finally did find him. I found some big ones, too. So. I've got about four spots that I'm going to pound pretty hard during the tournament. So, now whatever spot's got the hot hand that day is the one I'm going to pound. Lots of stripers right here. Get off the stripers. Now, if I was fish for, <clears throat> for stripers, I'd catch crappies, right? Let's see what's down here. Everything bites these smaller lures. Let's just take a look. Yeah, I think it kind of sinks real slow and just hovers. It's because I got a lighter jig head on there. Now, if I was fishing real deep, I'd, of course, put a heavier jig head on and go plump. Let's move on around the corner a little way. All these boat docks and stuff right here are going to have properties. So the hunt tonight ought to be pretty interesting, and we're going to be hunting on. I didn't know, even know which map we were going to be hunting on until yesterday. So we're going to be hunting on the uh, Medvedev map, and that's Siberia, Russia area of that part of the world. It's a snow and icy map. So... Where are your coats? Where are your coats? a little bass actually. I don't think it's a white bass. Yes. 
What do we got? Yeah, a white bass. What do we call it? One crappie? Figures. Figures! Again. So yesterday I had the baseball game. Some of you were here for that. That was a that was a thrashing yesterday. I got beat good yesterday. This is a little walleye. <clears throat> Excuse me. We catch a mix of fish on these. Let's throw this crusty uh, crusty critter. Christy Crawl, rather. I don't know why I want to call it a crusty critter. <laughs> that little crawfish looking thing. I throwed it up on the bank. We got beat good yesterday. I did not play well at all. That was pitiful. There's some crappie back there, some bluegills. We just got to get them jokers to bite. Look, he turned away from that. See, that's where that underwater camera helps you because turning away from it tells me I got the wrong color on there, wrong lure. Throw it up on the bank again. I'm getting good at throwing it up on the bank. There ain't no fish up there, Troy. There ain't no fish up there, Troy. Oh. We got one. Little bitty. Ah, wait. Point nine ounces. Wow. I don't generally play this a lot because it's on live. It's not as exciting as some of the other games we play. There's another crappie. All right, we got something going now. But I got two streams to do today. I didn't want to get tied up in something too exhilarating. <laughs> All right, that's a bigger one. Two three, so that's not quite as big as one we caught. We caught two five earlier. I think we need a. I think we need a good. Oh, just a just a catfishing game, period. I think that would be awesome. We got another one. There's a few crappie right here. Two two. I made that uh, background today. Yeah, leave, Troy. I'm getting back good as Mr. John Parker about throwing it up on the bank. Uh, I made that background today for this for this live that I've got to. 
game screen overlaid over. Those fish that's up there on that background are actually cutouts from this game of a bluegill and a large mouse and a crappie. Phone scared the devil out of me. I made a background for tonight for the hunt, a new one. They're fairly easy to make. Uh, it's just being, you know, creative to what what you want, but making them and getting all the icons lined up and then having enough room for your game screen to be big enough for pleasurable viewing for your viewers. But I have learned that the best way to do that is to start to make one with the coloring and the boarding and the name of the game you're playing. And then download it onto your desktop, put it in your whatever broadcasting system you're using. I use OBS. Uh, and uh, put your screen overlay on it like y'all see it. And then start adjusting things to get it to look like you want it to. We're on again. Get a little spot right here. Like this is a bass. Now this is a bass, but he's not tournament worthy. No, it's a white bass. Sometimes they're hard to tell what they are in certain light. The bass and the white bass pretty much got the same body which is an oddity. They should have a little bit different shape to them. Saturday night's truck driving ought to be fun. So y'all come and join us. But we're on again. Alright, this is another white bass. Lots of whites. Yes. Over the rail and in the pail. Try to get my camera uh, webcam off of the, the, the game screen. I used to have it on the game screen. It kind of blocks some of y'all's view. But as I learn to do new things, we can upgrade. This is a big crappie. All right, there's the new there's the new big fish, two fifteen. What's going on, Jebba? There is Jebba. Jebba and I are going to be hunting tonight. Yeah, there we go. We're on again. We're catching them now. I think this one's bigger, folks. 
That's a black crappie. Nope, 213. I'll take that every day. All day. Oh, Matt, how are you? Good to see you. This ain't no crappie. If it is, it's like nine pounds. <laughs> so Stan and Hogleg both bought this game. We need to get them guys going on fishy games some so we can have us a good old tournament. They let you run tournament. There's Steve Adams. He must not know I'm live. <laughs> He's probably thinking. Troy didn't answer the phone when I needed him the most. He must have a question about the trucking game because I just got a notification that he's in the American Trucker. So. Yes. Another striper. This lake is full of stripers. Just full of them. Thank you, Don. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some other uh, fishing on this. I want to do a stripers on this lake. I want to use some big lures and catch some big ones one of these days. But I wanted to do a live today. I didn't want to miss my regular schedule program, and I but I did want to get anything big. Uh, I've been driving the truck a little bit today. I bought a truck, and I've turned that truck over to a, a AI driver, and I'm taking some contract loads where I can buy another truck. I have expanded my garage, and then I'm going to take my truck back to the uh, AI driver and put him in a, a basic truck, and uh, No, this is the only Arkansas lake they have. Uh, and, uh, but I have a surprise for Tuesday's trucking game. So be looking for that. It's going to be a little different, something a little different. It'll be more of a sightseeing stream. We're gonna go on a we're gonna go on just a, a relaxing sightseeing road trip. I'm gonna put the thumbnail up for that this weekend. And once you see the the thumbnail, you will understand what I mean by sightseeing trip. And it's got a little humor on the thumbnail. My wife says it's hilarious. I got too much time on my hands. <laughs> I'm hooked up here. I didn't get a good hook set on that at all. This is 
Is this white bass? This may be a white bass. Yeah, a little white bass. No, it's 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 the American uh it's the uh American uh it's a trucker game but I'm gonna be driving a truck but it's a little something different. Listen, I, I have tinkered with that doggone flying uh, simulator. Yeah. Oh, I got a fish. That broke me off. <clears throat> Chad Thompson. Good to see you, Chad. Thank you, thank you. Glad to see you. I have tried that uh, that uh, flight simulator. Good lord, that's a mess. What happened to my icon? I think that's a glitch. Yep, that's a glitch. So anybody that wants to know about a glitch for this game, if you lose a fish or break the line and the icon disappears, you got to restart the motor. And I just lost one. Golly. <clears throat> I went back and looked at some of that stream yesterday. I always do that. I go back and look at it. Uh, a little bit because I'm always looking to tweak my sound settings or something's too loud, something's not loud enough. Picture, whether I like the background, uh, my microphone, uh, whether I'm missing certain things that I should be mentioning. And uh, I went back to look at that stream from yesterday's ball game. I'm going to tell y'all something. I stunk <laughs> yesterday. I stunk. That was a that was a pitiful, pitiful showing. Uh, I'm looking at some of that and I'm like, what are you doing? Is that background to y'all and y'all's opinion? And I do value your opinion very much. <clears throat> do y'all like those kind of backgrounds or would you just rather have full screen uh, with my webcam overlay on the screen? So sometimes people don't like because it blocks certain things. What do y'all think about those backgrounds uh, and the, the game being overlaid on it? I missed it. I was playing Division 2. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. I, I did not play well at all. Troy flying a mosquito. I have tinkered with that flight simulator. I think we got a black bass here. It's either that or a white bass. One or two. <laughs> Tell me about it, white bass. Well, it <clears throat> at least it, if I'm gonna get beat by the computer, at least I am getting beat on a high Hall of Fame level. Oh yeah, I could turn that. Matt says full screen. Does it? So tell me this. Uh, 
What's it look like on a? Is it hard to see on a phone? On the, with the littler screen. <clears throat> well, I tell you what. Let's just let's since we're just chilling anyway. Let's just look. I'll give you a comparison since we're just chilling today anyway. Let's do a comparison. Still fun to watch. It minimizes the video. Okay, so one second. Because uh, I can kill that real quick. So is it that picture uh, better or is it... And I, I, I want to hear everybody's opinion and you're you're not you're not gonna hurt my feelings at all uh, about it just because I think it's a good idea don't always mean it's a good idea or is it better something like that for y'all maybe me a little bit bigger huh On the TV, it's fine, but on the, it, it minimizes the video, yes. Good here, been lucky. I'm going to play this for a minute, and then y'all tell me what you prefer. I'm going to leave it just like that for a few minutes. Good here, too? Y'all just really don't care, do you? <laughs> I would imagine that on some devices, and that was my worry, on some devices it probably looks a little small. On the big screen, I guess it really don't matter. But we're going to leave it here. And then I will, for about 10 minutes, and then I'll ask the question again. Because it's all about what y'all prefer. I could care less. If you like it this way better, it saves people having to make backgrounds. It's going, it's going okay. I'm catching, I'm catching a few. We're catching a lot of mixed fish, uh, but we are catching quite a few crappies. No, that's what I want to know. I, I want an opinion uh, of, of what y'all like. That's why I asked. Uh, Cause on a twenty, on a, on a, on a, you know, on a big TV, it looks, it looks good. But that don't mean it, not everybody watches on a big TV. Some people watch it on a tablet, some people watch on a, uh, a phone. And
he says he only watches chat. Oh, my goodness. You're funny. I hope you cut the wrong, I hope you cut the wrong end. How <laughs> you do? Oh my goodness. I have a live stream from your phone question. Okay. Ask it, sir. And I bet somebody in here will give you an answer. And if nobody does, and I don't know, I will find out for you. When you live stream, can you zoom your phone in and out? I don't know. That is a good question. Maybe somebody here is going to tell us. Matt says, not a clue. Yeah, that's me. I don't use the phone to live stream either. You might have to ask Google that. I wouldn't see why not. I would think if your camera zooms. putting the picture out that I'm sure it would. <laughs> I know it. Buck, no. Stan says you cannot. Matt said, I bet somebody's looking it up right now. You're probably right, Matt. All right, let's see you zone down here to the next hot spot. It probably depends on which app. Yeah. If you, if you use the screen yard, probably not. <laughs> Getting ready to go to work.
Now these fish all over this lake. Uh, let's take a boat ride, look. We just give it time, but anyway. Fish. Wait a minute. Just a minute. I want to move this camera of mine off of. I'm going to move myself to the bottom, guys. Because I want y'all to be able to see the fish finder. Y'all don't want to look at me no way. I'm in the bottom left hand corner now. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. I'm on about a 15 second delay. Uh from when I see it on the TV. All right, let's try that. So now you can see the fish find it. The top left hand corner. See that fish right here. We're pretty much offshore. Heck, we might as well make a couple of throws here, just for giggles. Let's do it. What's that say? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you could. I never thought about that. Lord, have mercy. I could put my icon on the back on the guy. What do you come up with this stuff at, dude? <laughs> I guess you sure could. Well, if I move my camera down there, then y'all see the fish finder. Hello, Lisa. Okay, so y'all give me an honest opinion now, because I, 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 I want the honest opinion. I know Matt likes the big screen better. Do y'all like the big screen better? Is this a better view? I think it probably is, because I'm looking at the TV. The full screen like this is probably a better view. Look, there's a crappie, Matt. Offshore crappie. So Matt said they got fish in the middle of the lake. <laughs> he said it just pops in my head. <clears throat> Me and you both got too much time on our hands. Chris Everett says thumbs up on that. Okay. That's good. That's good what I need to know. I like feedback. Move it. Move it to the right upper corner. Right upper corner. <clears throat> uh, okay. So you've got... <clears throat> Now, for people that watch it on TV, that may block the chat. But we're going to try it and see what everybody says. We're just tinkering. Let's see what it says. That works pretty good. You lot smarter than you look, Buck Williams. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that 
kind of, that does kind of let them. What's everybody think about it being up there like that? You like that one? You like that upper right hand corner? That's what I need to know. See, I love the feedback. The feedback helps me be a better streamer. That does look good because y'all can see. Okay, now you can see the cast meter. Got you. Got you. So, if y'all ever want me to move something like that so you get a better view, let me know. Because I'm always looking for... Uh, Ideas, that's how we grow as streamers and we get better at doing it is getting feedback. Let's ride around the middle of this lake a little bit. One of these lakes, I don't know which one it is. So is my camera uh, on the screen big enough with my ugly bird? See, this is a deep water right here. So let's ride around. Troy ain't smart. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Buck William. He just wishes he he wishes he's as smart and looked as good in a moo moo as I do. <laughs> I can make my camera just a little bit bigger up there if y'all want me to. Just let me know. Um, this is some deep water right here. said what? I said I'm not smart, you knucklehead. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, and then I can't read either. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I need some new glasses. <laughs> We're going to blame it on the glasses. Back over here, this little, little view of the property spot here. Said I'm not smart. Yeah, you're pretty smart. You know, let me tell you something. You sent me an email about, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, and it, and it basically said uh, it was a his email about the uh, controls on the trucking game. And I'm looking at this email and I'm like, who in the world sent me this? I, I'm trying to figure out who in the world sent this. Grateful to get it, of course. But I'm like, who in the world sent me this doggone email? Cause, and I got to looking at that and I'm saying, and I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And I said, and I looked at the icon and I said, I don't doggone well I've seen this icon before. 
Uh, so then it dawned on me, uh, you idiot. All you got to do is just uh, click on it and it'll show you the icon. So I clicked on it and the icon blew up and I said, that's Buck Williams. <laughs> that's a shame that I know you by your icon. Took me a while to realize who it was that sent it. Yeah, that is a good view over on the right side. I think I kind of like that myself. I think we'll leave that there for this game. Oh, God, I spent, I'm going to tell y'all something. That's Walmart. Oh. Uh. If I forget, remind me to tell y'all about uh, multi-hunting with Jeva yesterday. I won't talk about Walmart's minis. <laughs> if y'all get your medicines from Walmart and they tell y'all to sign up for this uh, doggone phone service they got, they call you and let you know when your medicine's ready, don't do it. <clears throat> they call me every day. Every day, they call me. Mr. Benson, down your medicine's ready. Mr. Benson, it's an automated system. There's a property. Not only do they call me every day about that, but the jokers call me, hey, there's a three and a half pounder, folks. Not only do they call me every day about that, but they call me and they say, uh, we've noticed that you're getting close to a refill. Would you like for us to refill? No, I didn't call it in yet, did I? So then, the ne now the next thing is, is they got you. Now they're 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 trying to get you on a get you all your pills on a rotation. Uh, so they give you a partial prescription on one medicine until they get it lined up with the rest of your refills, which drives me nuts. Because uh, you have to end up making two trips to Walmart to get home and realize you ain't got but seven pills when you're supposed to have thirty. They call me every day. Uh, so, yesterday, Jeff and I did a, we did a hunt. Troy, you could probably shut the notices off in the setting. I'm going to shut it off, all right, but I'm going to call them on the dang phone and tell them to stop calling me. <laughs> I'm going to shut it off. <laughs> You're probably right, but I'm going to call them on that damn phone and tell them to quit calling me every day. Uh, I did call them and got on to them about only giving me a portion of my medicine. I said, I, I said that, you know, you, you could, you, if you're going to do that, you could at least tell me, no, I'm in a wheelchair and I don't drive. My wife has to go pick them up. You know, oh, we didn't think about that. Well, of course you didn't, you idiot. <laughs> So when I went on a hunt yesterday with me and Jeva went on a multi hunt yesterday to test everything. I have not seen the great one yet. But we went to test OBS and and uh, make sure y'all could hear him and the picture was good because we wanted to be a good show for y'all too. So we did do a multiplayer hunt. I spent about an hour with him and uh, and I've never professed, this is the walleye, I've never professed to be no big time uh, gamer either, you know. Uh, this is a hobby for me. Uh, but I spent an hour, probably an hour and a half with Jebba yesterday. Uh, and I learned more in, in, in that little segment of time uh, from him about that game. Uh, it's it's amazing the little bit the little bit of time we spent together. What I learned, uh, 
And I totally missed this. And you guys are so much more advanced at this uh, than I am. But it was really a, a fun experience, and I learned a lot from him. And we're gonna we're gonna do some multi hunts together, uh, offline too. And but I want to get Jeb on the channel and invite him over here to uh, join us on multi hunt. Uh, on one of our lives that I do for y'all. And uh, we're even talking, we were tossing around yesterday about getting a couple of the, a uh, couple of the people together uh, to uh, do a deer drive. That would be fun. Oh, I did. I learned a lot from me yesterday. I I did. And, and, and that, and for instance, the, I'm like, he's talking about the wind direction, and I'm like, how does he know so much about the wind direction? I mean, I can look at the wind and tell which way it's blowing from, and I'm like, how can you be so sure about the wind? And he's like, well, you got to look at this icon here, and it tells you the wind down. I'm like, it does? <laughs> yes. He's right, it does. Oh boy, that is Shack Daddy's super bass. <laughs> I was in my, I was in my snow moo moo. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, see, I did all the, uh, I did a lot of the challenges on, uh, on PlayStation, but I didn't do them on the computer. Troy, you need to call Jody. See if she has any of those fishy stuff you need. She's getting rid of them. I know she is. Uh, and I have, I'm on, I'm on, uh, plan to message her tonight. And, uh, I know, I know she's got a lot of stuff she's getting rid of, and I appreciate you telling me about it. Yeah, uh, she's got a couple of 888 reels that I want to see. Uh, what she'll, she'll part with those. I need two. She's got two. Uh, so I'm going to message you tonight. Uh. When I get done here, I'm going to, tonight after I get done with all this streaming and stuff, when I get done here, I got to go, I got to go get me uh, a shower and get ready to do the stream tonight with Jebba. I'm going to have to put some clothes on. <laughs> and there's going to be no moo-moo tonight, folks. So those of you that are so delighted to see me in my moo-moo ever, uh, on my streams. I know there's a lot of you out there that just live to see me and my moo moo. Uh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take a volume tonight because I'm gonna have a camo outfit on for the hunt. Uh, so, but never fear, there will be a return to the moo moo on Saturday night. Well, I'm Steve Adams, maybe, maybe Steve Adams, but for sure myself and Stan and Hogleg do a convoy. We like, we're hoping to coach and join us. So. Hello, Freckled. How are you? Good to see you. Please don't wear that camo bucket hat. There's a bluegill. <clears throat> What's wrong with my camo bucket hat? <laughs> oh my God! You make fun of my you make fun of my, my camo bucket hat that my wife owns. I love that hat. No, I won't be wearing that because I got. I'm gonna have headphones on tonight because uh, Jeff and I are gonna be talking back and forth over the uh, Discord, and y'all will be able to hear both of us. And I want. 
I don't want there to be any echoes in the background. Sometimes when you don't use headphones, there's a little echo. I, I know I hadn't seen you before, and I freckled, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, we do, uh, I do a lot of gaming. I do some, uh, do a lot of, uh, do some fishing when I get to go. And we do some different things on the channel, but we have lives on Monday, or Tuesday rather, Wednesday and Thursday. I do a lot of gaming. I'm wheelchair bound, so we do a lot of outdoor gaming and driving gaming. So come join us uh, at one o'clock on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This is a this is kind of a fun hangout place that we all hang out and have a good time and a lot of good hearted, light hearted people in there. We like to keep it drama free and fun for everyone. Discord is the bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm being told. Um, that's another thing I wanna thank you ever for. He has helped me with my Discord. I know about just about as much as Discord, uh, just enough to get me in trouble. I'm either breaking something or <laughs> but he's helped me with that, so we're I'm getting a Discord, yes. Uh I have I have three platforms. Uh I have three platforms. I have PS4, which is pretty much retired, of course. And uh, I have Xbox One that I multiplay uh, a little bit with some of the Xbox players. But mostly, I'm on PC uh, through the Steam community. Yes, we will be making channels. Places to hang out. Places we can clip Troy's wrecks. <laughs> Yeah, so, and I don't know all the ins and outs of Discord, uh, but if we get a Discord, it's pretty much uh, it's, it's social media for the ones that don't know it. And please, Lord, if I uh, make a mistake here, Jeva, let me know. Uh, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a souped up social media place where you do pictures and, and videos, but you can also have uh, uh, text chats and even verbal chats. Uh, you can have channels. For instance, if uh, uh, let's just say that uh, Robin C. and I wanted uh, to have a conversation with, with somebody and we wanted to just be the three of us and, and we wanted us three to have access to it, for instance. Uh, Without anybody else even knowing the thing exists, we could do that. It's it, Discord's a it's it's a very good platform. Now, Steve, uh, rather Hogleg and Stan and I, we've been doing our conversating for the the uh, the uh, the convoys that we've been doing on uh, Steam, which that's nothing wrong with that. But when Jeff and I had this conversation, did this. Uh, hunt yesterday uh, to me the communication was a lot clearer and smoother through the discord it, it, it worked a lot better it was not as there was hardly any background noise at all a lot of that was because we both had headphones on uh, but it just seemed like a better communication tool I may play I play on all three I play a lot of PC games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I'm just down getting into PC gaming, so.
but the Discord seemed to be a lot, uh, a really smooth platform. In fact, business, uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I've noticed that my traffic on my views and things have kind of slowed down on the fruit page. Uh, on Facebook. That may be just because people have been busy or they're fed up with Facebook, one of the two. Uh, but I have plans to move uh, a lot of that over to the Discord if people take to it. Uh, so. What did I learn how to work the darn thing? But I've met some really great people like Jebba and Caitlin and folks that are willing to step up and help others uh, learn things that they don't know anything about. And, and there's a lot that I don't know. Like how to land a fish. Come on, fish. Uh, there's a lot that I don't know about a lot of things, but I got some good folks with me. I just joined this killer. Yes, you can stream on Discord. At least that's my understanding. Let's move around just a little bit. Now it's raining on me. What is the deal with rain? Can you explain what the PC is? Just a computer or is it a gaming? It is a computer. It is a, a PC is a personal computer. Uh, Don. Uh, but there are there are many types of personal computers. Uh, and with that being said, uh, uh, <clears throat> there are gaming computers. When somebody dropped the uh, real and virtual outdoors group page link into chat for Freckled, uh, you send me a message over there, I will reply to you, and yes, we will exchange Steam names. Um, There are many types of, you know, as you know, computers, but I have a SkyTech 2 gaming computer. Uh, I just bought a stock gaming computer. Uh, I don't play a lot of high-end war games on it. Not that I don't, not this computer probably would handle it without any trouble, but uh, being my first one, I just bought a SkyTech 2 for streaming and gaming. Uh, some computers may not handle certain games based upon the video card. This game here, for instance, I'm running ultra graphics on it. Uh, Stan is trying to get a new video card for his. He can't run ultra graphics on this game. It glitches him a little bit. It's a nice blue wheel. I like catching these little blue wheels now. Two pounds. Somebody will say that's catfish bait to many. I catch a two pound bluegill, nobody's getting that from me. That's gonna be Croy bait. I'm gonna loosen this drag up a little bit. Oh, we're on again. I'm terrible at games. 
I'm going to do a little afternoon delight. I'm so old. Time I look at you, hear anything about you, you eat Buck Williams. <laughs> uh, you can send me a message on Facebook, Freckle, that. I forgot that's on my uh, about page or on my YouTube page. My email's also there too. And we will exchange stream names, uh, Steam names. Tags, whatever. <laughs> Ernie Brown, downtown Ernie Brown. I'm back. I'm back on PC now. Oh. Roppy. That's what we're looking for. That's a white. Nope, that's a black. He's not as black as the rest. As for Discord, it's great. Uh, right. Right. It's just not for gaming. You actually can have separate uh, chats too inside the Discord. So uh, if you wanted to just be part of the fishing conversations, uh, you can do that. Uh, so. Oh, that's all right. She, I told her how to find it. I, I forgot she couldn't post that link. Pretty much all these docks have got crawfish on them. And they're biting the crawfish better today than they were yesterday, so. We're gonna make a run here in a minute to a spot up to the way north of this lake. And I'm pretty much staying away from uh, any bad spots. I don't want I don't want any of my big spots. I'd love to show y'all what I found, but since we're on a live, we're gonna avoid that. In case I've got people that's gonna be in a kind of watch too. Let's make a run up north. I did find an interesting spot up here that I wanted to go uh, try found it and had to go do something else. We'll go make a little ride here.
you'll have to talk to Bill Till Games like that. I didn't make that sound. Yeah. I found this spot yesterday. Oh, I may lose this one. Yep, sure did. That was on me. I had too much slack in the line. I want you to look, though, at something. I want to point something out. Uh, not that Dovetail Games listens to me, but I would like to point this out. There's the buoys right there. You cannot go any further than that. So I want you to look at where we're at on this map. Okay? I'm halfway up the lake. I can't go any further. It won't let you. All that spot up there is all wasted water. Unless I'm wrong about that, unless you unless you've got to do some challenge which I can't find any information about anything about that. That's all wasted that's all wasted water. That's a lot of potential up there. There's a lot of good points and little islands and all that's wasted. I wish if they were going to do I wish that they were going to do a, a map uh, like this that they would um, either shrink the map where you didn't have all that or they would just open the lake up and you could fish this whole entire thing. That would be interesting. But from, from here <clears throat> back east is all the lake. Yes, it does. It does work. And I will use it. Uh, I will use it. It's in fact been just down now. So we can see we're moving. I will use it during tournament time. Uh, because I don't like to throttle up close to where I'm going to fish. So I actually will use it during tournament time a lot. And I will pull back about 100 yards, 75, from where I know the fish are holding. And then ease up with the trolling motor rather than throttle up there. You can scatter the fish. I'll throw it over them. And if I'm running at full throttle, any fish that you see come across the fish finder up there past three seconds ago. Hello, Froggy. It's good to see you. Uh, Froggy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be live tonight at seven. Doing a multi hunt with another friend of mine that's also a gamer. Uh, named Jebba and we are going to be hunting a great one moose yes ma'am I did say moose and I did say great one so if you get time please let me try to peek in or at least watch it on replay the thumbnail is on my page Ashley Brady what's going on Ashley Brady she said he says, sup, goobers. <laughs> Good to see you, Ashley. Curtis! The Eminem Man. The Mike Trout Fan. Boo. It's Curtis's fault I lost that ball game yesterday. I want y'all to know that. So y'all boo him. He, 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 put some kind of, he put some kind of spell on me. He put some kind of M&M &M root on me or something. <laughs> There's a big crappie.
Well, we're doing all right, Tom. We're catching a lot of mixed fish. Good to see you, Tom. Uh, we're catching a lot of a lot of fish. A lot, quite a few crappie, but it's sort of mixed bag today. Uh, uh, we're catching a lot of, uh, hang on a second guys, I want Tom to have a wrench, there you go Tom, you got a wrench now, uh, <clears throat> Catching quite a few, like I said, a lot of mixed, a lot of mixed fish, but we've caught a couple of nice crappie. This is the spot where I caught the 4.5 that's on the thumbnail. I had a chance to fish it for about 15 minutes the other day, and then I had to get off because that's something else I had to do. There's some big old stripers on this lake. You're welcome, sir. Now, this is not cropping. Yes, it is, too. It's a big one. Big Earth, 211. I need to get I need to get hog leg and, and stand going on this game so we can have us a little a little tournament on. I gotta give him time to get caught up. I'm a little I'm a little ahead of the curve. Yeah, well, Curtis, he put the he put the he put the hooter on me on Wednesday. He got beat good. I'm 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 looking forward to next Wednesday to get some redemption. <laughs> yes. There's a little bass. Now that fish right there will not. If I was tournament fishing for bass, that, that fish would even scratch, make a scratch in what I'd have to have. Old Jibba, he's a moose hunting dude himself. I learned a lot from him yesterday, Froggy. This is a this is just fun fishing today. The next tournament uh, is actually open down. I've got 16 days to do the first round. So we'll probably do like we did last time. I'll have three chances. Each chance is 60 minutes, and whatever the biggest bag limit out of three chances they calculate as your first round. So I will probably do the first two uh, chances offline and do the third chance on live. So I'll probably do one chance for <clears throat> per three rounds on the live. I finished 93rd. My goal was to get in the top 200 and I actually got in the top 100 for the 93 finish out of there were 500 competitors in the tournament so it's not too bad uh, the first time that I did one I was 245 so if I had had a better first round 
My first round was only 36 pounds. I did not have a great first round. Second round was 50, and the third round I caught 60 pounds. That's five bass. Uh, if I'd had a better first round, I might have been in the top. I don't know. Top, maybe top 25. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good uh, virtual fishermen that fish this game. Uh, and it's, you know, it's competition from, well, pretty well all over the world. It's not just located here. Pretty much had to charter a lake uh, just like you were if you were fishing a tournament. That's a little small problem. So, where that yellow icon is right here in the middle of the screen, all the way back. Uh, to the to the west to the very tip down here uh, that's all fishable water everything to the right of the icon is just blank water I don't know why they did that but uh, they got a buoy up there so I'm right there at the buoy line so all that from the yellow icon back to the west that's all fishable water so I had to fish all this area to find the big bass spots. I've got four spots and uh, to pound for tournament and it took me about seven hours of real time practice fishing to find these spots and of course I charted a manual map why well, I know I'd get more well, I know to go to get back to a map each spot is a little different. The water temperature right, uh, the, the air temperature right now, according to the thermometer up there in the top left, is 64 degrees. So I have to remember that some of the fish will be in some of the spots when it's that cool, and but uh, some of the other spots will be won't be any fish. They move. So if I get in here in a cha on, on one of my uh, fishing days and it's 64, I've got certain spots I have to go to for that. And then if I get in here and it's 74 or 84, then I got to go to different spots. This is a bass. He's jumping up out of the water. On yes. Now that's a striker. Not a very big striper, but striper. <clears throat> I'd like to get in the top 50. That'd be nice. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good competitors out there. I just got to keep working at it. Basically, what I do when I compete in one of these things is I throw big lures. Eight inch, eight inch swim baits, eight inch uh, spoons. I'm trying to catch five of the biggest fish I can catch, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time messing around with little ones.
Good Lord, Froggy, you still at the hotel? I don't know what this is. This is another striper. You weren't supposed to bite that little old bitty thing. Now these stripers, this striper, this this one here, the one I caught one of those small compared to what I was catching. But I'm using smaller bait. Golly. Get him in the net, Troy. Got him. Yes. I don't drink, but I'm acquiring booze for others. Yeah, it, they try to make it as realistic as they can. So, this is, um, this is the bass box that I've been throwing. Uh, I got different type of boxes. This is my crappie loadout for my little pan fishing. But this is the uh, this is loadout that I've been using for the tournament. Uh, eight inch swim bait there. That's called the booty shaker. And no, I did not name that. And that's a uh, shad looking bait. It's five inches. Three inch rattle trap. And actually, that's not supposed to be that. That's supposed to be. That is supposed to be this. It is now because I just changed it. Uh, eight inch shattered glass, and uh, but those 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 three, that spoon and those two shad, big baits, big fish. I throw a little bit of spinner baits, but most of the time you catch four or five pound fish on those four or five pound fish ain't gonna ain't gonna win me nothing. I need ten pounds or better. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Let's see. I don't really know. Can't really see how to pronounce your first name. Somebody gaming has made it in. Uh, <clears throat> appreciate it. I don't think I've ever seen you here before either. I'm getting a lot of new folks that's coming over from the gaming. Uh communities, which I'm very grateful for. God, oh, gotcha. Uh, I'm getting lots of folks that's coming over from the gaming community now, and that's thanks to Jebba and Caitlin and some of the other people that's helping me kind of get around. Some of these folks are finding me. And we all try to help each other. And I want to remind my crew, if you're not, hadn't checked Caitlin out, please go check her out. Yes. She is, she is, does a very good stream. She, she does late night oh, stream. Would you look at that? So some of you night owls. Will enjoy her stream. She's a very nice person, and she does a very good stream. It's a lot of fun, uh, and she is closing in on 1K. So go check her out. Uh -uh. Hold your beer tight. Troy is a wreck. You ain't never lied.
Well, I am I'm currently right now taking a 2,000 and 300 mile road trip on Trucking Simulator, American Truck Simulator. I have upgraded my garage. I now have an AI driver who's making me money while I'm not even playing the game. And I'm trying to buy him a truck because he's driving my truck. And uh, I'm doing contract work right now. So I took a 2,300 mile trip. And I'm about 1,500 miles from there. I'm going to try to work on it again uh, tonight some after I get done with the hunting stream with Jebba. Jeremy Tournament Cat. But I've been driving a different vehicle. On American Truck Simulator. And we're going to see that vehicle on Tuesday. We're going to go for a joy ride. And it's going to be fun. And I look forward to y'all seeing the thumbnail I made for it. My wife says it's hilarious. Yeah, we stream on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays now, Jeremy. There's Chris. Hello, Chris. Hooks and hammocks. <coughs> Hooks and hammocks. Good to see you, everybody. <laughs> Doggone, Froggy, you don't want to ride in the car with me? Why not, Froggy? You know you, you, know you want to ride with me, Froggy. Colleen says she don't want to ride with me either. She's my wife. She says, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. You are blue now. Mr. Hooks and Hammocks. I told you all this was a hot spot. The million dollar question is, I need to come back up here with some bass baits and see if there's any real big bass up here. There's lots of fish right here. But is there a 10-pounder? I don't even mess with a spot unless I can catch a 10-pounder out of it for tournaments. It's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, she knows what kind of wrecking disaster I am. She's, she's like, you're, you're, you, you wrecked too much. She says, I can't even, I can't even drive, you can't even drive your wheelchair. You think after all these years of driving that wheelchair, you'd be better at it. I said, well, baby, I said, uh, I've been driving it for 30 years. It probably ain't going to get no better, so just accept it. You'll feel better about it if you just accept it. So, uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a convoy on Saturday night. Stan and and myself and Hogley, and hopefully we get our buddy Steve Adams in there with us. Steve's driving. He's got his trucking game, and he's driving. So there may be four of us sitting there and driving. Right. 
ท่ากาเทียมท่ากาเทียม AI drivers autopilot you see them people on that <laughs> you see them people on YouTube going down the road and they're like this and they sleep and that dad burn cars on autopilot driving them down the road now if I had an autopilot wheelchair I'd be laid back here like this now you know I would be right sleeping it'd probably run me out the street that'd be the end of it <laughs> No, nah, I'll pass. I don't see how people could trust an autopilot to the point where they could lean back in the chair on a road trip and go to sleep and let the car drive them down the road. I don't think I could sleep. I think I'd be opening my eyes every 100 feet to make sure that joker was staying on the road. I bet you that I don't get to drive the pontoon boat either. My brother's not going to let me behind the wheel of that pontoon boat. Guarantee you that. You probably won't even let me look at that wheel. <laughs> uh oh, somebody gonna need to measure that bass. <clears throat> nah, he ain't gonna let me. He ain't gonna let me ride that boat. He knows I'm the kind of guy to go under a bridge at fifty. That's a big old bluegill. I think the bluegill are the prettiest fish in this game. They did a real good job on that. It's a yeah, it's an autopilot, is what it is. They put the dog on address in, they just lay back there and go to sleep. I'm like, really? I ain't doing that. Probably said she ain't gonna get nowhere near me and die. <clears throat> Froggy, uh, me and old Don, we had lived this long by being stupid. <laughs> We've got talent. We're going to, have to get back in that police car and go for a, a drive. I was going to think about, I was thinking about doing one of them on Saturday night. And then we, I got Stan wanting to do the convoy. I said, well, let's see if Hogleg wants to. If Hogleg wants to do it, we'll, we'll do it. So I sent Melissa a message, an email. I looked at the clock. I, she looked. Melissa gets a kick out of us doing that convoy. She thinks it's hilarious. So I, won't, I looked at the clock. I won't see how long it takes her to reply. It's about eight minutes. <laughs> She's like, yes. As a walleye. What I like about this game so much even though it's a bass driven game all the tournaments are about bass fishing and I still go out and fish for a certain fish
<laughs> yeah, we're going to drive the police car. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> I got a mod for the police car. It's just a modification for the car. I got a better light bar. I got a better siren box. I got to go test the siren box out. Uh, it's, it's kind of an enhancement. There's going to be some other mods uh, for some of the other games too, so. <clears throat> hey, you didn't watch my, you didn't watch my last police stream, did you, Froggy? The night that me and uh, Hogleg did the, uh, Later on that night, we did the truck driving stream, did you? I hope you didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't, or you sent me a message. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Been in London for two days watching my son's reaction. Watching people's reaction to my son. Very amusing. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> well. Boys and girls, it has been two hours, and I'm going to fix to shut it down here in a few minutes. We'll give everybody a few moments. No, I watched about five minutes and been hiding everything. I'm glad you didn't watch the whole thing. <laughs> uh, about halfway through. I had a boo-boo word, and I thought if Froggy sees that, she's going to message me show sure enough. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Uh, well, at least if y'all are having some fun, the experience is not too bad. Uh I hope y'all get to go home, my friend. I know that being away from home uh, is a pain for that long a period of time. Uh -uh. Here in just a few minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go take a shower. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I've ever done that. Uh, uh, I did though, uh, I wrecked that joker. Uh, it's a good thing it's an after hour stream. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'm going to go get me a, a hot shower and get my hunting clothes on. And I hope to see most of y'all back here tonight at 7. I know a lot of us going to be watching Fields to Water tonight. And I did send Chad a message about it he's gracious enough to say hey do your thing so we're gonna we're gonna try to kill a great one moose tonight and i'm gonna try to do it with a bow so and to be make a long story short i ain't too worried about making the shot i'm too worried i'm more worried about getting a good shot than i am making the shot i've been shooting that bow a lot but in any event it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to uh learn a lot uh, tonight. So the folks that's getting into this, playing this Call of the Wild like Martin is and some of the others uh, that have bought the game, I think Hogleg has bought it. And, uh, and uh, I think Hogleg bought it. 
Uh, this will be a good stream to watch because it's going to be a, also an informative stream. Uh, I learned a lot yesterday and, and the hour that I spent with Jeva that I had no idea even. Nothing about it. So, it's going to be an informative stream to you newcomers. Uh... <laughs> she said, "I ain't taking a shot with you." Ah, oh, come on, Froggy. You know you want. You know you. You know you want to see me without my moo moo on. Oh my goodness. Uh, I better bathe the scent killer for the big hunt tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> Y'all something else. I don't know what to do with some of y'all. Y'all are a mess. <clears throat> All right. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We just kill it a little time, having a little fun. That's what this channel's about. Having a little fun. At least we had a at least we had a, a good stream. But yesterday, I boy, I played that baseball game yesterday. Good Lord, if y'all didn't watch that stream, you ought to go watch it. Now you won't you won't talk about you won't talk about a collapse. Uh that game, that game, I I, I wore me out. Uh, that game that game beat me up yesterday good. I told y'all that I would not win every one of those games and I won't and there will be games like that. I got to ask this one question before I go. Did anybody see the YouTube video going around about the Philadelphia Eagle fan that pretty much tore the TV off of the wall when Kansas City beat them? <laughs> Man tore his friend's 65-inch brand-new TV off the wall and stomped it. TV still had the sticker on the side of it. Throwed a glass at it, broke the screen, started pounding on his fist, ripped it off the wall. I'm thinking, dude, <laughs> ain't no ball game worth ruining no 65-inch big screen TV. Uh, uh, if that cat had done that to my TV, I'd have got him down on the ground sometime or another and run over his face. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was hilarious, Todd. You, you seen it, Don? What a clown, dude. I mean, really? Uh like a two year old, just throw the big fit. All right. <clears throat> Big Slim rose up. Was it Brian B? <laughs> I don't think Brian. I, you know what? I ain't seen Brian B come in my chat since the Eagles lost. He prayed I'm going to worry about it, I think. <laughs> I got him the other night. Uh, he come in to Steve Adams and made some comment about me and Steve being uh, seniors up on the screen up there. And I said, how about the Eagles? He said he hoped my game glitches out. <laughs> good to see you guys. I'll see you tonight. God bless you and thank you for coming. Y'all have a good, good afternoon. And uh, hopefully we get a great one tonight.